I'm joined tonight by our principal, Christy Kendall, and I am Sarah Becker, the Enrolments Manager here at Turek College. Tonight I'm going to interview Christy as if I was a parent of a girl uh, preparing for a scholarship with us in the future. So how do I know if my daughter's ready to sit a scholarship? Because it's a big decision. Knowing if your child's ready, I think, is about having that conversation. Mm -hmm. But the other things you need to look for, they do have to sit and um, do some work. Mm -hmm. So um, are you seeing those signs in them at school at the moment or when mm -hmm. they complete homework at the end of the night? Do they sit, home, uh, sit at home and quite comfortably get some work done? Mm -hmm. If they're not doing that, then let's not put them in yeah. an environment that, that yes. they're not going to be comfortable in. Um, and the second thing I think is have they got an, an element of um, independence and, and self-assurance that you know they're going to be able to walk into an environment. It's a really easy, friendly, lovely day. Mm. Um, mm. But are they actually going to be confident because the worst thing I think mm. that any kid is yes. being put in a situation that they have a negative yes. experience or feel yeah. uncomfortable. So Definitely. if you don't see those qualities in mm. your child, mm. then sitting a scholarship is probably not mm. going to be the best experience and instead maybe a conversation with us is something. Then what type of scholarships does Turac offer? Uh, we see a large number of students being awarded academic and general excellence mm -hmm. scholarships. So that actually means that we look at a range of skills that develop in a young person. Some of those skills are not easily tested by standard testing, but actually allow us to see the thinking skills that underpin uh, the learning that takes place. So this test actually that mm -hmm. they sit will tell us who's performing at a really strong academic mm -hmm. level now, and that's great. Mm -hmm. We have academic scholarships available. But then we have one called a general excellence scholarship. And what that allows us to do is look at, yes, mm -hmm. what the academic potential performance is at the mm -hmm. moment, but it also allows mm -hmm. us to measure the academic potential. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a fascinating mm -hmm. score to look at because we can measure students that have very high potential scores and their performance is lower so they don't have the strategies yeah. or they're not in the right environment or the right place. From my perspective what we love you to submit on the day is or, or beforehand is fine, mm -hmm. um, a school report and a NAPLAN if you have it. Mm -hmm. What that actually enables me to do is cross check what I'm seeing on the page with those reports mm -hmm. because sometimes we can have not a great day yes. um, or have three tests go well and one not mm -hmm. but if I'm actually able to say hey this mm -hmm. This, what I'm seeing on mm. this test is representative, mm. so it gives me a framework. So how many scholarships will be offered and is it to internal and external candidates? So I would say across the spread from year three all the way through to year nine, mm -hmm. um, there, there are anywhere between, you know, maybe one or two, mm. anywhere up to maybe five in, in a year level, but that is mm -hmm. very dependent on um, the students. What is the best way to prepare for scholarship testing and what are, what's covered in the exams? Um, okay, so this is something uh, I get asked a lot. I don't think that there should be any formal preparation for a scholarship test. There are essentially four different parameters that they're looking mm -hmm. um, at in the test. Um, I spoke a little bit about the performance and potential elements, yes. uh, but obviously we look at uh, mathematical ability as, as well as the analytics and reasoning behind it. Mm -hmm. um, and then we look at written expression as well as the comprehension behind mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. instead of it being topic driven, it is kind mm -hmm. of um, a lot more generalised in terms of thinking mm -hmm. skills mm -hmm. and what skills then are demonstrated from that. We're getting ready to come on the day for the testing. How much should I like disclose to my daughter <laughs> about what's going on? I am very careful on the mm. day when I do the little welcome to actually not use the word scholarship and mm. to actually use really general terminology so that each parent can craft their own message for their child. So come into the hall and I give a very, very brief welcome and mm. essentially um, I think put the students at ease and then we get the students moving really quickly um, because we know mm. some students, um, they can be anxious or worried and Absolutely. so it's pretty much pretty light Absolutely. and off we go and it just feels like they're attending a class. They actually sit in small class rooms for year groups so it's not a big hall. Yeah. They're, they're in their nice little rooms they sit mm. in so it just feels like a class. So let's say my daughter does well. And she's invited in for an interview. Yes. So what should I share with her about <laughs> you know, coming for an interview? I just look to have a conversation. Mm. Um, so I never quite know what mm. I may yeah. say, but I, yeah, I promise uh, it's there just to kind of get them chatting yeah. and, um, and see how mm. we may be able to create best experience for them and the yeah. best transition for them. Um, Absolutely. Now, yeah. one question I always ask new students coming to the school for any reason, yes. um, is what would you like your teachers to know about you? So if my daughter is successful, is this kept confidential? Scholarships are sensitive. 
and scholarships, um, you know, in any community, that they shouldn't be a mark by which we we measure or compare children. Being confidential is actually mm. in everyone's best interest. Yeah. So I've just talked beautifully about confidentiality, but we actually do have um, two special named scholarships in the school. So. They're scholarships where um, an opportunity has been awarded to a young lady, maybe because um, of a student's connection or past history with the school or an amazing benefactor as well. And Kate actually holds a named scholarship, which means her scholarship is public because she has some extra responsibilities um, that go with her scholarship. It's your first year at Turak. Yes. What did you expect? Has it lived up to expectations? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's always been... A dream to come to Turek, I suppose. I also know that Turek is a smaller school, so especially coming to my VC years, the smaller classes would help me um, to my advantage, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And yeah. It was all good. Now, um, how was the actual process of sitting the scholarship? Was was the day okay? The interview yeah. not horrific? No. <laughs> I don't have any nightmares after it. I'm all okay. Um, so, Kate, the big important question is what if there's somebody watching who's thinking about sitting a scholarship at Turak? What, what advice would you give? Definitely have a go. <laughs> there's nothing to lose, I suppose. This school is amazing. All of our scholarships are from the time of entry until the mm. end of year 12 because um, they're big gifts on behalf mm. of the school. We know there's still large commitments from parents, but they are big gifts on behalf of the school and our community as well. Am I, is my daughter able to apply again? Yes, 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 mm. yes. Your daughter's allowed to just enroll anyway as well, mm. by the way. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, um, we, yeah. we are welcome everyone after that process to have a conversation mm. with us if, if they'd like to, if there's availability in those year levels. Um, but is she, yeah, she can sit that, that scholarship mm. yeah. every year. That's wonderful. Thank you for all the information. Our scholarships webpage where you will find the link to apply as well as plenty of other information around our whole scholarship process. If you are uncertain of any of it all, please feel free to give me a call or uh, drop me an email and I'll happily respond to you.